You know, Andrea, Social Security has been in the news a lot lately. And unfortunately, for you know good reasons, because the program is literally running out of money and the clock is ticking for Congress to actually act soon. The question is, for my clients and many people who are receiving this benefit, is what will these actions look like for your money? Well, we're going to talk about that in today's short retirement education concept video. So stay locked in. Hi, my name is Carson Graves, president and CEO of the Retirement Education Center. And my name is Andrea Graves, director of operations at the Retirement Education Center. Thank you for tuning in to our Retirement Education Concepts videos. These videos were created to make the difficult and confusing retirement process simple. Absolutely, Andrew, because with so many different financial strategies out there and so many different retirement concepts and so many products for consumers to have to digest, it is important that we utilize a team of expert advisors to help us build a financial roadmap that will let our clients know when, where, and how they can reach their retirement goal. For additional concepts on how to maximize your retirement income, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload new videos. Carson, Social Security has been around for 85 years now, so why are we seeing this pitfall heading our way with this program? You know, Andrea, you know what? That is um, the question that a lot of people are really asking right now. And it's like I always tell you, you know, unfortunately, no one has a crystal ball to actually see what the future is going to hold. You see, when Social Security was actually implemented in 1935, the same projections that they were actually looking at then, obviously, decades later, cannot hold true for today. And so therefore, we know that it is definitely imperative that changes are going to have to be made. But the question that what are those changes going to look like for your retirement dollars if you're receiving this benefit? And that's what we're going to talk about in today's short educational video. But before we do, there are always two rules to retirement income that we always like to give you. And Andrew, what are those two rules? Well, rule number one is to never run out of money. And rule number two is to never forget rule number one. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the changes that you may be seeing in order to keep Social Security solvent. Well, Carson, most people believe that at a minimum that it will require Congress to raise taxes to save Social Security. So do you feel that way? You know, Andrew, I, I absolutely do. Unfortunately, I do feel that way. You know, when you're looking at where we are right now, it could be a combination of raising your taxes and, of course, um, unfortunately, cutting some benefits. So here's where we are today. You know, most of us understand that um, at certain um, provisional income uh, thresholds, you're going to have to pay taxes on your Social Security benefits. If you are an individual, that, that threshold is anywhere between $25,000 to $34,000 a year, where 50% up to 50% of your Social Security benefits can be taxable. Anything over that $34,000 of income, up to 85% of that benefit can be taxable. Now, if you're married and you're filing jointly, that threshold is between $32,000 and $44,000 a year, where up to 50% of that money can be taxable to you, and over $44,000, up to 85% can be taxable. So what could they change there? What well, they are speaking about where perhaps that the thresholds are actually increased. So that means that the threshold that you can get taxed on up to 50% may then become up to 85% right away. And then when you get to the threshold of 85%, they may make Social Security 100% taxable. So Andrew, that is one of the changes that many retirees may have to deal with. Now people already growl at the fact that their benefits are being taxed. Now I just can't imagine the mood that they would be in if they're if it was increased. Absolutely, Andrew, and that's just one of the things that um, people may have to consider um, with this program in order to keep it solvent. Unfortunately, Carson, what are some of the other changes that you see coming? Well, Andrew, there are many changes that we see coming down the pipeline in order to keep this um, benefit program solvent. But one of the things that may be a really big thorn in the side of people paying into the system and those who are receiving it is that they're going to continue to maybe look for ways to pull money out of your paycheck. So, Andrea, as you know, if you work for an employer who actually takes out for Social Security, you're going to be paying 6.2% of your income into that particular program up to $142,800 in 2021. 
So one of the things that we've already spoken about is that we know that that's going to continue to rise each and every year. So we know that's going to be a way in order to increase the solvency of Social Security. But here's the thing that people may not realize that 6.2 percent that you pay as an employee could also be changing as well. So unfortunately, Andrew, this may be one of the things that you're going to see happen with your paycheck. Your employer is going to probably be taking a bigger uh, bite out of it. Carson, are there any other notable changes people should be looking out for? Yeah, one more thing that I would point out, you know, we know that the uh, age for retirement, Andrew, is age um, 66 and 67, depending on when you were born. But just to keep in mind, in 1983, Congress did get together and raise that particular retirement age. It used to be age 65. But like I mentioned, in 1983, Congress got together passed the laws to actually incrementally raise the retirement age to age 67. And we see that actually being implemented today because if you were born after 1960, your full retirement age for Social Security is age 67. Now, also understand that they may have that on the table again to increase the retirement age, maybe a couple of more years or maybe even to age 70 in order to try to save Social Security and try to go ahead and ward off this pitfall that we see um, coming um, in 2034, or maybe even sooner, Andrew, because we have seen how COVID has actually interrupted a lot of things within the workforce. So Carson, how can people protect themselves from these not so subtle changes? Now, that's a good question. Now, the one thing, as we always will try to give you, is some insight to how you can protect yourself from any changes as it pertains to your retirement plans. The one thing, Andrew, as we always say, have a written retirement plan. But most importantly, Andrew, make sure that you stress test that written retirement plan to make sure that if there are any changes to your retirement income, you'll still be able to be okay with your situation in your retirement. Perfect, Carson. Thank you. And thank you for watching. And if you feel like this video is beneficial for you, please like and share with others. So I really do hope that the information that we shared in this video was beneficial for you today. Please understand that these videos are created for educational purposes only and that you should always consult with your own financial advisor, your own tax advisor, and your own attorney regarding your personal situation. If you are looking for a fiduciary financial advisor to help you with these type of complex financial matters, please make sure that you utilize the link in the description below to go ahead and schedule a complimentary retirement consultation with us. For more information about this topic or any other topics that we've presented in the other videos, please feel free to reach out to our office or leave any questions or comments in the section below. After this video, please check out our other videos that will give you tips on how to maximize your retirement income. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and share it with a friend. Thanks for watching and remember, if you have questions, we have answers.